How's it going YouTube? This is Power Surge. Exciting day today because Transbyte Corporation finally unveiled on their Facebook page the fully wrapped Zazz machine. Ready to go. Looks like it's loaded on a pallet. So there's a lot of anticipation, you know, there was people doubting that this machine existed or would ever be finished. And it looks like they have the finished product ready for release on April 12th. And it looks great. I think the artwork is really cool. The wrapping looks clean. I thought it might be silly from some of the earlier pictures that people had posted. But, you know, this looks very cool, very professional, just like something you would expect to see in a medical dispensary. So, absolutely fantastic, exciting day for Transbite. So, some of the weed stocks have been really down lately. This is a 15 minute chart of ERBB's stock today. And as you can see, there was an epic dip um, gap down this morning when the stock opened. I actually watched it. Uh, it was around 0.044 when I was looking at it this morning. And if you were a trader, you know, this was a wonderful opportunity uh, to get a little bit of movement. It went from 0.044. It opened down about 26% and was able to rebound uh, so that it was down only about 11 or 10%. And by the end of the day, um, we finished just a little bit in the red. So this was, you know, possibly a really good last minute buying opportunity before the Zazz machine is released and shown to the public on Saturday, April 12th. So this is a, la a chart of the last eight days ERBB. Um, I actually sold some out at 0.0897, right about nine cents. I sold a few thousand shares. I was, uh, you know, expecting this to be overvalued and pull back, which we saw a heavy pullback starting um, Friday and continuing all the way now. We're here at Tuesday, and this pullback was really dramatic. But there's still fantastic news up ahead, and a lot of these sell-off days they affected the whole marijuana sector and it was because of general news uh, for example one day this week there was an article talking about how a significant amount of dogs have been brought into veterinary hospitals for getting messed up on marijuana edibles and you know intoxicated and these articles that uh, were written were really dramatic they said that some of the veterinarians we're even considering putting down the dogs or cats that had consumed cannabis edibles because their intoxication was so dramatic and high <laughs> that it scared those doctors. So you had that one day. Another one of these days, the DEA came out and said they're still going to aggressively enforce laws in the states that have not legalized and they will continue to enforce federal law. So that started to, you know, that put a heavy weight on the marijuana sector. And we had, not too long ago, some crazy college student in Colorado tried an edible for the first time, really strong edible, and pretty much went off the wall, started tearing down pictures in his dorm room, and jumped out his window. So this, you know, imbecile has kind of put a negative note, and they're calling it the first death since the legalization of marijuana in Colorado. This silly guy is kind of ruining it. But these pullbacks, you know, are some of, in some way oversold. And there's a lot of opportunity for bounce action here. We could see a really good move in ERBB stock along with the other pot stocks as we inch closer to 420 in the summer. I also feel that with elections coming up, the Democrats are going to try to push marijuana legislation. Uh, Obama might come out again and, and pump uh, marijuana to the public and suggest that it's beneficial to change laws again. Uh, he might do that because he needs to win support right now. Uh, he's not looking too good, and that's one way he might try to win people over. I hope you guys like this video. If you feel the need to comment, please do. Uh, feel free to share it and hit the thumbs up. I'll be making more videos all the time.